So this is part two of the solar. We are at a new stage and I'm excited to tell you everything that I know so far and what Tesla have said to me and what we've got planned with Tesla at this moment in time. Let's jump into it. You might remember this from one of the last videos, but what? A little uh, hint for you. What is in the bottle? If anyone can guess in the comment section what is in the bottle, I will reveal at the end which drink is in the bottle. I want exact brands in the bottle. Okay, so the first part of the video, we put a deposit down for Tesla Solar. And I've had loads and loads of interesting information come through. In fact, something that I didn't even, I didn't even know was public knowledge uh, from a Tesla rep who spoke to me on the phone. So that is what I'm gonna speak about today and take you through the process that we're looking at at the moment and what sort of figures and everything that they have given us. So even though this video is almost a week and a half, maybe two weeks late, Tesla actually rang me the very next day from placing that deposit. So that video went up and I got a phone call the very next day from a Tesla rep about the Tesla deposit. Now when they called, they actually spoke to me about the power wall. So they says, hi Jordan, uh, we noticed you inquired and put a deposit down for the Tesla power wall. I explained to them that actually I'd put a deposit down for the Tesla solar um, and that's what I was interested in. Okay, so first bit of information that Tesla gave me is Tesla do not supply Tesla branded solar panels in the UK. They won't supply them, they won't import them, but they will use approved solar installers. So they are looking at installing the same size system, I think it was a 10 to 11 kilowatt system on our roofs, but the catch is we must use a solar power wall. So they'll, they'll approve it, They'll give you the um, Tesla assurance and all that kind of stuff, but you must have a power wall fitted for that to be the case. So if you are ordering Tesla Solar in the UK, it will be fitted by a different company. The panels that we are looking at, that the guy recommended to us, were either Panasonic or LG panels. They're the ones that they recommended to us. They're the ones that we'll be looking into and coming around to our building to install. Um, and they approve those panels, Tesla approved those panels, but you must have a power wall installed also. So obviously that has bumped the costs up. If you remember in the last video, going off the maths, I was looking at around 17,000 for the solar panels. He gave me an estimation on the phone for those panels, for that system, of around 14,000 pounds, including the 5% VAT. And then you have to add in the power wall as well. So the estimated cost, over the phone, he said it's a rough cost, so don't take it as golden, was between 20 and 22,000. And the good thing about the power wall is that 20% VAT is claimable if you run a company and only 5% on the panels. The way they get around this is very interesting as well, which is nice to know, is that they invoice you for the solar and you'll get a separate receipt and a separate insta installation for the solar. And then all the costs are so associated to the power wall, you'll get another separate receipt for that. So you've got 5% VAT on your solar panels and you've got your 20% VAT on your power wall. So you can claim accordingly if you are a company. It helps a lot, it does make a big difference. So like I said, over the phone, we are looking at 20 to 22,000 pounds for a 10 kilowatt system with Panasonic panels possibly, and the power wall installed as well. Obviously we can claim some VAT off that, which will bring the cost around to a 19 to 20,000. But there you go, uh, it's a rough costings, they're gonna give me exact costings very soon, and a lot of that has to do with how the power wall and the solar is installed on the property. The more complicated the installation, the more expensive it becomes. The simpler the installation, the cheaper it becomes. And I actually think we have a really, really simple installation uh, where the power wall is gonna go, 
where the panels are going to go, in my opinion, is really easy, really simple to install. So I'm hoping for a lower cost. In terms of the size of the system, they're going to come to the building. I need to just book this in, but they're going to come to the building and they're going to assess whether the 10 kilowatt system is enough. Over the phone, he said it sounds like that could possibly work for us, but they will assess and tell me otherwise. So uh, the cost could get more expensive. I don't know. We shall see, basically. We shall see what they say. I'm hoping for a 10 kilowatt system with one power wall. We're obviously not going to be fully off the grid, but hope to minimize those bills as much as possible. So what did Tesla want from me when they phoned up? Well, the first thing they wanted was some information on the property. So where the power wall is going to be installed, how close is it to the, the consumer unit, the electricity box? How close is the solar panels then going to be to the power wall and the consumer unit to figure out sort of how difficult this is going to be. But what they needed was some photographs and some measurements. So that I've not done that yet. I'm going to do that right now. And they want you to measure how far away the power wall is going to be from the consumer unit. For me, it's a probably about this far. Um, not very far at all because the wall that the power wall is going to go onto is just right next to the consumer unit. So that makes that dead simple. I'm guessing all this information that they're trying to gather from us, they're gonna pass on to the approved fitters, and then the approved fitters are gonna come here and check whether that's true, and then give an exact quote for the property. Obviously, the, the difference be between the two situations is, in America, you guys can have your solar panels fitted by Tesla. For me, that is a no-brainer. If I'm in the States, and I, I own a property, and I'm thinking of solar, I would go with Tesla. The way they've got it set up that they just do the one big panel makes it so much more simple. I like the look of it, the aesthetic of it. I like the reviews I've read so far of the service that Tesla are providing. In the UK, obviously, it's a little bit different. We've got approved people, approved from Tesla, and you need to make a decision whether you would like to use somebody else who probably could just install the system the same that the installer is going to come and fit it anyway. And you don't have to have a power wall. I like the idea of letting Tesla do it and I like doing the experiment for you guys. But if I'm in the United States, I would be looking at the solar panels from Tesla personally and getting that done. But yeah, that's just the way it works in the UK. This is the way it works right now in the UK. He did say, however, that they plan on changing this within the year or so. He thinks it'll be around a year. Um, and they might have some news on whether the panels are coming to the UK. Here was the really interesting thing. I've not heard of this before. I didn't know this existed, but they spoke to me about a Tesla electricity plan. So he said to me, he says, have you got a Tesla car charger? I was like, yeah. He says, and if, so if you've got the solar and the power wall installed, we could put you on the te a Tesla electricity plan. Okay, which is, I was like, well, okay, cool. So let me get my... Uh, Trusty computer out and show you guys. Okay, so I went onto Google and I typed in uh, the deep, what he said to me and I found this. So I'm guessing this is the website and the plan that he's referring to because the costs matched up exactly the same. So it's on Octopus Energy, uh, octopus.energy slash Tesla tariff, introducing Tesla energy plan. So I never heard of this before. Join Tesla's first UK energy community and unleash the potential of solar and Tesla Powerwall to reduce your bills by 75%. Get everything you need to power your home and drive with 100% renewable energy, the cheapest electricity prices, thanks to Tesla Energy Management. So here's the bit that got me. I was like, wow. Tesla, will if you're on their plan, so you have to have all these, you have to have the solar, the car, and the Powerwall, I'm pretty sure, they will give you 8p per kilowatt, which is wild. Like... Super cheap, half the price, or half my current price at the moment, just over half price of my current plan. But here's the better thing. They will give you 8p, so the 8p per kilowatt for using the electricity, they'll give you 8p per kilowatt for exporting the electricity. So Eon were doing one for 5p, which isn't bad. So the highest I can find right now on here is 5p per kilowatt hour export. But I've heard as little as one to two P per kilowatt. So Tesla are offering eight P per kilowatt. So they'll give you they'll give you eight P for exporting. They'll charge you eight, eight P for using. Kind of offsets the cost if you're doing it. No standing charge, amazing. No exit fees, amazing. Just renewable energy at the UK's best price. It is, it, it really is. Standing charges are expensive. Um, so not having one of them. 
It's gonna, this will save a lot of money. This is gonna be, a lot of people are gonna be choosing this. Looking to install solar PV power walls or both. See how solar and storage can cut your energy bills. Okay, so that is to have it installed. That, I mean, this could be the company that I'm talking to on the phone, I don't know. Already running solar PV and power walls. Switch to Tesla solar plant for 8p per kilowatt on your grid import with no standing chargers and 2,000 miles for free. I guess you get some supercharging miles or something, I don't know. I've not heard of this before. I've not heard people talking about it, but I can see it game change. I can really see this being a game changer. I'll have to wait, add up the maths and see, see what it's gonna do. But I think we'll probably go on this Tesla energy plan. I think. We're gonna have a lot of vehicles charging, at least two, but with the cyber trucks, three or four. If this plan is specified around Teslas, it should make a big difference. It really should help quite a lot with um, saving some money. So yeah, I'm excited about this. This is a Tesla energy plan. Have you guys heard about this Tesla energy plan? Is this why Elon was in the UK recently? Is this what everyone's talking about? If you are to go to tesla.com right now, you will land at their impact report. And a lot of that is based around the solar. Um, so I'm, right now I'm on the Tesla energy page. I really feel like they're pushing it. Elon has even said himself that he thinks their energy sector could be bigger than the cost, their car profits, which is kind of crazy. This is, this is the crazy thing. I've been speaking to my brothers about this recently and it's kind of blown my mind. If they get everyone set up like we're getting set up right now, a power wall, solar, um, and a car charger, those three things, and they get people on these amazing tariffs. I then become like a small grid, like a, a small grid in, in my own, in my own, in the own sense of a word. So if I've got a big battery full of energy and the people as people need power somewhere else, it can export it to bu buffer the grid and go somewhere else. And you can balance the grid for all these all these batteries, basically. But this is, I'm off a tangent here, here's the big point is, if Tesla decides to do vehicle to grid electricity, we have these massive, massive power walls swimming around, being plugged in at night when we need the energy. So people get back home, they need the energy, they need the, the energy and the grid needs the energy. And there's these huge batteries that be able to have the ability to be able to balance the grid. So if they do that, I mean, I don't know if they're planning on doing this, but if they do do that, I can see a massive change in this whole this whole system. So a power wall has 13.5 kilowatt hours uh, capacity, which is what 20% of a Model 3, 13% of a Model S is battery, like not much usage. So if this vehicle to grid technology surely they can use the cars to be part of the grid. Surely they can use that to be part of the, the power system and pa power people's houses. It makes, with a 200 kilowatt hour battery from the Cybertruck, is that not gonna power people's homes? Like, is that, are people not gonna be able to just plug their house into the car, plug their house into the car, into the truck, and power their homes? 200 kilowatt hour battery, you're not gonna be doing six, the, the 500 miles every day. You only need 100 miles of charge most days and you're fine. So there's, that, there's like 150 kilowatt hours of power available that could be charged from solar into the Cybertruck and then used at night. I think it makes perfect sense. That's just me, but I think it makes perfect sense. So are Tesla planning to do this vehicle to grid technology to work in this way? I, I go out in the morning, take my car wherever it is, make sure, so the, ha the house is unplugged. The car charges up the back, the, uh, batteries of the power wall, whatever, that's charging up. I go to work or whatever, I charge my vehicle up at work. I drive my vehicle home, so my, my house is not used to hardly any energy all day. Gets to night time, I, I need the energy now, I plug my car, my house into my car, and the, the building's got energy. If, if, there's, if there's an abundance of solar chargers and green energy chargers all over the country where places near where we work, then that's a possibility. I don't know, there's just so many possibilities swimming around. We'll probably see in the, gen in the new generations of chargers what they're planning on doing, but I can't see a 200 kilowatt hour battery being used just for driving. I don't see it. It's got to have more use. It's got to, you know, it's got to be for something else. I just think they plan on using it to power the houses, I really do, but hey. Who knows?
We shall find out. The next step for me is to send Tesla the details. I'm gonna go outside now and measure how far the distance is between the wall I want the power wall on and the consumer unit. And then I'm also going to, I think I have to send them a picture of, or tell them a, which way the, ha the building's facing, south facing. And I think that's it. Once I've filled in all those details, I've got a nice form to fill in. Uh, once I've filled in all those details, I'm gonna submit them to them and then Tesla's approved installers are gonna come around the building and I will be filming all of that. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly go over the email that Tesla sent me. They did a home self-assessment. Please upload your MPAN number. This is known as a supply number on your electricity bill. So I need to do that. Uh, please take a photo of where you want the power wall. Okay, so that's easy, I can do that. Take a wide photo shot, including the floor for context. Um, location option one. For location option one, approximate distance between the location and distribution board. Location two, so send them a second location. Uh, location and the distribution board again. Your installation requires an earth rod to ensure your home remains electrically safe during a power failure. This needs to be inserted into the soft ground close to your gateway. Please include a couple pictures of super location. I think we've already got an earth rod, so that's fine. They want the approximate dis distance between location and the gateway way of the earth rod. Um, they want a picture of the electrical system setup distribution board and then they want a picture of the inside of the distribution board and then they want a picture of any electrics basically. <laughs> they want to know what products we've applied for, how many sub boards do you have and that's it. So I'm going to get that all submitted to them now and then we'll take it from there. We'll see sort of uh, where we go from there. Guys, I'm really excited about the solar. I actually think, I went onto the referrals, I had a referral the other day, and it's not come up as a car. So I think someone's used the referral for solar. I can't actually see, I don't know what it is. It's got no details on it, it just says referral. So someone's used the referral for the solar. Thank you so much, I really do appreciate it. I kind of think it's an easy decision to make. I don't think there's actually much decision needing to be made if you're in the United States. So if you are choosing to use my link to do so, I really, really, really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. There's lots of great information out there on this Tesla Solar in the US. It's why I'm doing the UK version. But for me, if I was in the United States, I know what I'd be doing, I'd be picking the Solar. So anyone who has chose to use the link, Thank you so much. If that was you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How's the guess? Did anyone comment below what, what drink was in here? I can't really show you. It was sugar-free Sprite. If anyone said sugar-free Sprite, I don't know if there's any way of testing it actually, but if they did, um, you deserve a pat on the back because that would be crazy. Bit of a strange one for me. I'm usually a Pepsi Max kind of guy. If you are thinking about buying a Tesla or a Solar, please use the link in the description. It does support the channel in a massive way. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening to my voice. You have been wonderful and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.